Hello, this is David G, and welcome to this week's Life Tool, where we explore letting go of a dream. And this may sound a little controversial or kooky, but so often in our life, we've set a trajectory. Maybe it happened when we were five, or maybe it happened when we were 15. Maybe it happened when we were 20. But we set a certain trajectory, a very, very clear path on how our life was going to unfold. We put it in a certain context of here's what my relationship will be, here's what my career will be, here's where I'll live, here's what I'll do, here's what my family will look like, here's what my accomplishments will look like. And something that we set 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago is now guiding us to where we're supposed to be. We've conditioned ourselves. We believe the story. And although it may have been true, what you formulated in your mind's eye and in your heart when you were 15 or 25 is not necessarily where your life has led you. So we need to readjust. We need to tweak. When I let go of who I am, I become. Who I might be. So how do we get to who we might be? It's by letting go. Now that may sound crazy. I didn't say give up. I said let go of dreams that no longer nourish you. Let go of visions that you set 20 years ago. Meanwhile, your life has gone in this direction. This doesn't mean give up on your dharma. Maybe you have a unique gift and a special skill set that can help you now actualize your passions. But living our lives from this constricted place of a strategic plan that we set more than 20 years ago is kooky. For example, let's say you said, here's what my relationships are going to look like. And here we are 20 years later. They're not looking like that. Shall we keep trying to force the round peg into the square hole? Or shall we say, well, based on where my life is now and what my needs are now, not when I was 18, let me set a new dream. Let me let go of that mission that once defined me and create a new mission. This is where we get to write the next chapter of our life. So please don't confuse this with, I'm giving up on life. No. You're taking one plan, determining, does it serve or not? The pieces that don't, let it go. And let's create the new plan, the new vision. So we can lean now in the direction of our new dreams and fulfill our dharma. Have greater peace of mind. Lean towards more nourishing relationships. The relationships that served us when we were in our teens and 20s are not necessarily the paradigm or the model for what will best take care of us now. And it's the same thing for a career. And it's the same thing with a house. When someone's children have gone away to college, the empty nesters have to redefine their life. You got that house because there were six people running around in it, and now there's two and a couple of dogs. You don't have to keep the same plan. What's the next wave of your life look like? So that's what I would like to encourage you to do this week. Ask the question, what's the next wave of my life look like? And how can I best surf it? From the sweet spot of the universe, this is David G. And I'm wishing you an amazing week of releasing what no longer serves you, of letting go of dreams that either have manifested and we can go, okay, on to the next one, or aren't manifesting so we can tweak, adjust, and refine them. I'll see you in the gap. Namaste.